Hello, my name is Andrew McCoy. I am the Brass Specialist at the Centre for Musical Arts. As part of our distance learning programme, we're looking at ways in which we can continue to deliver our lessons and resources to our students. And one of the ways we're doing that is with Google Meet. Now, Google Meet is Google's video calling platform for business. Uh, and it's a super simple platform. You can use it on a laptop, on an iPad, on the phone. Uh, and I'm going to spend the next minute or so running through how to do that on each of these different devices. So we're now just in my web browser, we're in Google Chrome, and if we go up to the top and go to meet.google.com, uh, and here is where you'll need to sign in. So if you don't have a Google account, super easy, just go create account for myself, put in my details, um, and just make this that. And as easy as that, we're now back into Google Meet. So here is where we put in our meeting code that you're provided before the lesson uh, and you log into the video. Now what I'll show you is the same process but on the iPad and then we'll actually make a video call. So if we switch over to the iPad. So as you can see, we're now in the iPad, and if you look up to the top left-hand corner, we've got our Google Meet app, which we're gonna open now. If you look um, in this middle area, enter a meeting code. If I click on that and type in the pre-sent code that the teacher will have sent, and it'll be something along the lines of one of these codes. And then I just click join meeting. And I'm joined with Mr. Brian Cunningham, who is the Director of Teaching and Learning for Centre for Musical Arts. Hello, Brian. I can't wait. See you later. Bye-bye. And there you have it. It's really as easy as that. And that really is all there is to it. Whether it's on the phone, on the iPad, or the computer, it's as simple as, as receiving the code from the teacher, typing the code in, logging in, and having your lesson, just as if we were in the same room as our students. Hopefully that was informative, and if you have any questions, of course, feel free to contact us and ask.